Hello Dub Nation, we all already know that Golden State was eliminated from the playoffs when they were defeated by the Sacramento Kings. Now the question everyone is asking is, who is staying for the next season? Will Clay Thompson renew or head to free agency? How difficult was it for you to see him struggle like that, given everything he's meant to the organization, everything he kind of fought through this season to have a very good second half, yeah. to see it end like that? Yeah. What was that like for you? It's tough. It was tough. I love Clay so much. I mean, what he's meant to me um, in the 10 years we've been together. Um, uh, I've, I've watched him the last couple of years, you know, fighting the, um, the feeling of devastation from the injuries. And I've watched him this year um, really flip his season around with his approach. And I saw him, you know, enjoy the, the second half of the season. And play with a little more freedom, a little more joy, and so tonight was tough to, um, you know, to see him struggle. Uh, but as I told the guys in there, that you know, it's all, it's all part of being an athlete and being an NBA player. I mean, there's, uh, there's incredible highs and and really tough lows, and this was a, a, a tough one uh, for Clay and just and for the whole team. You know, we just we didn't play very well, and um, and it hurts. So it's all part of it. After. Clay has a performance as he does tonight. Do you say anything to him, especially given that it's the last game of the season and he is entering unrestricted free agency? I know that everybody's going to try to connect that, but it's about the sense of pride and uh, I think just the committing him on a hell of a year. Everybody's going to talk about one game, and I know he wanted to play better. But, you know, we go through so much over 82 games and the fact that he was able to turn his season around with a new role and adjusting to coming off the bench for a long period and then, you know, back in the starting lineup and just really just having fun playing basketball and being at peace out there. I'm more worried about that um, because I know he's a true champion and, we all, you know, again, prepare ourselves to play, you know, our best when the lights are, are bright. And when it doesn't happen, nobody needs to tell you anything um, because all we want to do is win. And numbers aside, like, that's the only thing that matters. How vocal will you be about the need to bring Clay back? I mean, he's that's kind of the, the biggest question lingering. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we want Clay back. You know, it's... Uh, You know, we've been through a lot, uh, you know, incredible highs, some shitty lows. Uh, but the common denominator through both of them is that we've gone through each and every scenario together, you know. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's obvious that we want to continue what we've been doing, but you know, I understand he got a decision to make. Uh, he going to make the best decision for him. Um, team got a decision to make. Uh, they'll make the best decision for the team. But, you know, um, <clears throat> I have no doubt that even if, you know, which I don't think there's any scenario where Clay leaves and that's the best decision for this team and organization. Uh, but what I don't doubt is if, if Joe or Mike or anybody felt that it was best that this team moves forward without Clay. That wouldn't be the decision they make because they believe that. You know, um, they've shown nothing but respect, loyalty, um, love, trust to us. So I got no reason to go into it like, oh man, they're not going to do right by Clay. They did right by me. Uh, they've done right by Steph. They've done right by all of us. You know, Clay got Clay tore his ACL. Um, they paid him 160 million dollars. So I have no reason to think that our ownership group aren't going to take care of us the way we've taken care of this organization. Uh, like I said, ultimately that decision will be Clay's. <clears throat> but I don't look at it like, oh, man, they're going to only do what's There's a lot of organizations that will only do what's best for the organization. This ain't one of them. Uh, Coach, is it inevitable that you mentioned being sentimental that I don't know how long you've started kind of feeling that way, but – like kind of what were your thoughts uh, as you went into the locker room, knowing that the locker room may look a lot different 
or perhaps it could look the same. Just... Yeah, I mean, and and it, it it's that way anyway. Even if you're winning um, every year, you lose um, guys and bring new guys in, and you know the relationships that you build in this job are, are really special because you go through um, so many emotional highs and lows together, and you form. Uh, these powerful bonds that last a lifetime. It's what I love about team sports. I mean, you just, you know, my my best friends in life are, you know, my, my former teammates who I played with. And uh, there's something incredibly powerful about, um, you know, the, these relationships. And you, you just know that um, every year there's going to be changes. And um, it's, it's part of the business, but doesn't, doesn't make it any easier. Steph, uh, following up on Kendra's question, um, Steve talked often about how much pressure Clay puts on himself, and he struggled the last few elimination games. Um, how how do you see him? How difficult is that when, when the sort of the lights are brightest for him to put pressure on himself? How do you, as a friend and teammate, do you say anything to him? Do you do you see that? Do you see him put that pressure on himself? Or I'm curious your thoughts on. I see him approach the game the right way, and it just you know hasn't worked out. You know, uh, has worked out for him individually with you know the the numbers and the way that he expects to play, and that's that's okay. It happens. It's the sports. It's unpredictable, and um, we've all been in that experience where you have amazing highs, and he's had those, and we've all had a ama- uh, you know deep lows where you know you walk off the court. And you're super hard on yourself because you know you wished it would have gone in a different way. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just part of what we do and how hard it is of you know what we do over and over and how long we've been doing it. So the spotlight is bright and you have to accept um, you know the highs and lows of what we do, but not lose confidence in yourself. And I think Clay's been a walking model of that. You know earlier in the year that people were talking about his play and he responded. So it's a tough way to end the season, but I'm sure he'll be back strong. Draymond, as soon as, even as you guys went through this up and down season, you get ready for this game. Before this game, when you look at Steph and Clay, how much belief is there from you about what you guys can do going into this game? I always got belief uh, coming into games like this, do or die situations, you know, um, each and every time. Uh, those guys come through. Uh, you know, Clay had a rough shooting night tonight, but he competed. Uh, you know, shots don't always fall. Uh, we got some, got him some great looks. They just didn't go in. Um, shots that he hit any other time, they just didn't fall. And so I always ride with those guys, man. They always uh, step up to the challenge. And it's no different tonight. Shots just didn't go in. You guys are proud, and you guys have had a lot of accomplishments. How hard was it to take a game like this at this time? Uh... Loss is a loss. I don't really look at it like, oh, man, this game and what happened, and then we're done uh, this year. So it's just that. Just Draymond and the coach just mentioned they want Clay come back next season. How confident are you that he will be back next season? I can never see myself, you know, not with those two guys. It's I understand this league changes, and there's so many things that go into it, and we're not going to play forever, but... You know, we've uh, experienced so much together. And at the end of the day, like, again, I know they want to win. I know I want to win. And that's all I worry. That's all I'm, uh, that's all I'm worried about. Well, I'm Jermon, you're, you're laughing at the score sheet. What did you see from the score sheet on this game? And what do you think, where do you think it went wrong? Uh, we lost 118 and 94. That's what I was laughing at. Uh, I think they were just more, they were more physical than us the whole game. It sounds like you think little changes, little tweaks are are reasonable and you guys can win with that and and big changes aren't necessary. Uh, I mean, I'm talking to Mike and coach and this league, you never know, man. Like it's, it's, it's raw right now, just sitting here, going to be figuring out if I want to watch the playoffs or not. 
uh, on April 16th. Like, this is not familiar, this is unfamiliar territory. So even to answer that question, it's like, again, I just want to win. And whatever that means, I want to win. You guys aren't used to having your season end so, so early. What are the emotions as maybe you're either checking out of the game for the last time, you guys are walking off the court for the final time, seeing Clay turn back and kind of take in the scene. What are the emotions for you in those moments? Uh, just kind of upset. It's a loss. Um, it was a fun group to come to work with every day, so kind of sucks that that comes to an end, but yeah, I don't really know. Do you have confidence that you know it's a fun group to come work with every day. Do you have confidence that this group will still be the core group here next season? Uh, yeah, I have no reason not to. Um, you know, they stuck with us through the good and the bad. Not so great this year, but can't win every year. So, yeah, I do have confidence until it's no longer. Leave your comments, opinions, criticisms, suggestions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Gold Blooded News. Turn on notifications so you know when I send new news. A hug and see you next. We're Gold Blooded! Go Dubs!